I decided to make a vlog since since I have uh, the house to myself today and I haven't made one in a little bit and I was thinking about what I'd vlog about and I decided to vlog about my transition not as like this is how to do it or as this is a good way to do it or whatever just as an example of a transition because you know it's it can be informative hearing other people's stories so I'm talking about transition in the trans sense um, what I mean essentially is from the moment that I conceptualized myself as something other than I was assigned in the gender department. Um, actions I took on the basis of that uh, reconceptualizing of myself in gender terms. So the first step in my transition was, I mean, arguably the first step in my transition was my noticing, because there was a comment thread, someone was asking, hey, so why do trans women put such weight on these stereotypically gendered things, like, I thought traditional gender roles were kind of crappy, what's with, like, pink and tea parties and so forth. And my answer started as a trans woman, and I was like, wait a second! No, it didn't start as a trans woman, it started in my experience. But, you know, as I was typing, I realized I had an experience. By the way, my answer was basically, there are lots of different roles that women can take to, I think I used examples from the importance of being earnest, like, there's the, there's Jack's fiance, there's Jack's ward, and there's Mrs. Bracknell, and there's the, um, the housekeeper? Um, there's several people in this story who Um, there are several people in this story who are women, who are, who, whose roles are female, and they're very different roles, and the fact of roles being different, um, doesn't have... Like, gendered stuff is associated with a role that someone's attracted to. It's associated with a role for a gender. And, I mean, Taint Girl and Ripley from Aliens, from the Alien series, are women. They are roles in that realm and that's kind of what this is about actually me talking about my transition because I'm talking about what I picked out to about things I picked out to define my role and like the very first thing is just like explicitly stating it like I stopped in the middle of typing the comment and called my friend and I was like, hey, realize the thing. And then I reworded the comment and posted it. So those were my first comings out and that's 
a stage in my transition, the way I'm conceptualizing it, is transitioning from presenting myself to the world as male to presenting myself to the world as female. These days I'm, I present myself to the world somewhere between female and genderqueer, um, because I am a female flavor of genderqueer. But yeah, you have these... The, the first stage was just uh, telling people. And next was clothing. Uh, that same friend of mine gave me a skirt. And I, I, for the longest time, that's what, that's how I dressed. I had skirts and the same old t-shirts that I had always. Um, you know, uh, nerdy stuff, artsy stuff. So that was the first kind of concrete stuff steps were laying claim to a gender and starting to change my dress. Um, first in private and then I started doing, then I started coming out in public and doing it in public and um, oh Shaving was in there somewhere. I used to have a beard. It was quite a nice beard. I think it was pretty good. But it was also a beard. And... <sighs> there are lots of women who have gorgeous beards. But the role that I was choosing... The role that worked for me as a woman... Beard was not a part of it. Is not a part of it. It's still an issue for me. I, I don't, I shave, but sensitive skin, I can only shave so much. And I have relatively light skin and dark hair, so it just pops. It sucks. Um, yeah, so shaving, so, uh, skirt, shaving, coming out, to small groups of people and then larger groups of people. Almost everyone has been cool. There have been some people who've been terrible and some people who've been crappy. But a lot of people have been cool. Which is good. I think... Someone wrote an essay about us being at a point where it's just like... You can't even write... The journal article about, like, oh, hey, trans people are being accepted now. Because they get accepted so much now. Like, there's still places where it's incredibly anti-trans, trans-erasive, trans-hostile. But it's turned a major corner. We're still in the phase where we're having firsts, but I mean, we're still in the phase where we're having firsts with things like gender. I mean, this is all about gender. We're still having, like, counting how many women have done X before stage for some things. So, first, so we have a lot of first trans person to do a thing. But, yeah, it's getting better. Um, yeah, so, coming out uh, to wider and wider groups, um, one option that some people go is to transition and just kind of 
that's how people see them and the trans label isn't something that they put forward as hi i'm a trans woman no they're just a woman like trans isn't what they want the world to see them as which is cool i've just gone all in on like being explicitly trans um like i've thought about trying to change my voice but i like my voice and i don't think it messes me up it's inconvenient that people hear a baritone and are like oh i know what gender that is that's really inconvenient in the same way that the beard thing is inconvenient for women rocking beards but um I still like it it's a nice voice um so that's probably not going to be imminent in terms of transition oh uh hormone replacement therapy feminizing hormone replacement therapy um in the United States it's typically spironolactone and estradiol which is what I'm doing um that's a significant part that was actually a big improvement to my mental health um apparently being on the wrong hormones can mess you up because yeah it's really noticeable actually the 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 psychological differences were noticeable before any, the physical differences were yeah so i think that just about I mean, I've got dresses now as well as skirts and t-shirts, but, I mean, that's not a huge change. I think that just about covers the stuff that I've done for gender reasons so far. I'm thinking about checking out nail polish, but actually uh, for, for mechanical reasons and not gender reasons, because my nails are terrible. They break so much and so easily and fragment so much. Um, I used to have a real bad problem of biting my nails because they, they were ragged. And so like it was really helpful to have nail clippers with a little file in them in my purse. I have a purse. It's good. I'm in favor. Um, yeah, so... Makeup is a thing. I'm not sure what I want to do in that way. It might be fun to play with, but like... I like being... To some extent, this might be, I'm making the best of a bad situation, but I'm pretty good with having a low effort presentation. Like, yeah, I shave and put clothes on. Done. Um... And that's fun. Like, even the hair is what my hair does. Which is cool as heck. But yeah, it's just what my hair does. I'm running out of things to say. Yeah, so... Surgery isn't on the horizon. Um, like, in terms of, for example, boobage... I feel pretty adequate with how things have been going. I'm happy with progress in that department. Um, yeah, surgery isn't on the horizon. Like, I don't particularly feel a need to make that kind of change to my body through that means. Um, and I don't particularly want to. Yeah, it's, 
I'd like laser or something, but expensive and insurance being jerks. They had to go three appointments to prove that I was trans enough to warrant hormone replacement therapy. Like, don't do, like, if, if you work for an insurance company and you have any ability to influence what the insurance company's policy is, informed consent, please, it's the right thing. Please. But yeah, um... <sighs> clothes, being out, uh, being out, clothes, shaving, depilation, I shave, uh, being out clothes, depilation, and hormones, so far, thinking about, um, makeup is a big maybe, nail polish is a maybe, if only because if I'm experimenting with nail polish to strengthen my nails, I might as well experiment with the aesthetic aspects of it. Um, voice maybe like i mean it might be cool but man yeah and that's kind of where i am right now i realized i was trans coming up on 5 years ago started therapy coming up on 4 years started Realized I was trans coming up on five years ago, started hormone, feminizing hormone replacement therapy coming up on four years ago, and <sighs> haven't done a lot else, but I've done the stuff that I felt I needed to. I'm take my tea upstairs and uh, maybe drink some. Seems like the thing to do with tea. Have a good one.